Hi and welcome back to Joe's DIY. So I'm back here today with another turntable and a, perhaps a DIY project that I like to share uh, with my audience today. So this is a, a Pioneer turntable. Uh, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. As you can see right there, it's got the uh, stop and start button. This is automatic. And we also have uh, you know the queuing and all that. So what makes this unusual is that as you can see here, there is no uh, power plug. I don't know if you could, the camera catches that. And what's actually powering the turntable is this disconnector that should go into some kind of amplifier that I don't own. So what I'm hoping to do is we're going to do a little bit of modification with this cable here and perhaps uh, maybe figure out a way to get uh, some DC power in here to give that 12 volts that will power the, the turntable. I don't think there's a power supply inside the turntable. So that's where I'm hoping to get my power. And we're also going to have to do a little bit of something about the ground wire that goes from the cartridge. So I'm hoping to uh, show uh, my audience today how to do that uh, to the best of my ability because I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. I have an idea about the wiring of a basic turntable. So hopefully we get some power in this thing and that's what I'm hoping to accomplish today. Okay, so I've gone online and tried my best to uh, figure out some clues on to what voltage uh, this turntable will run in. I also got a chance to find uh, the manual online or at least the manual of the stereo system that it came with. And if you can see right there, that's the turntable's uh, model number. And uh, unfortunately, I was not able to find anything relating to voltage. Um, going over the manual, see if I can just show you. <clears throat> so all they, they really show is uh, how uh, the turntable is connected to this amplifier that it was supposed to come with. So the Amplifier uh, connections are not actually shown on this uh, manual, so there's no clue as far as uh, the the amount of amps that this turntable should be getting in order for it to function. Um, the only clue that we have here, if I could turn it around, <clears throat> so the only clue that we have here is in regards to the polarity and also the voltage. Um, but other than that, I mean, we're really not, you know, they don't really give uh, how much amps we're using here. So the best thing that I could probably do is start uh, running this thing on a power supply that's 12 volts and half an amp. And we'll, t we'll see if that helps it run correctly. Um, the other thing, too, that I heard online is that people have actually tried to add a power supply to this. Um, and they heard... A lot of noise or buzzing or whatnot so <clears throat> my guess is that because the grounding uh, for the cartridge is going right to this plug here this plug right here uh, presumably what's happening is that we need to isolate the uh, ground from the turntable away from uh, this and that way we won't get any noise coming from I guess the power that powers this thing up so the first thing I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and take it apart and then start kind of figuring out how everything's plugged in into the cartridge. Okay, so uh, what I've, I've done already is just take off the platter uh, along with the belt. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove uh, all the screws that I, I see attached to this bottom plate, uh, which should give me access to the turntable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so uh, this is where I've kind of determined where what I have to work with here. There's a little board here that I'm going to go ahead and unscrew, but I could already see that 
um, the plugs over from the turntable are soldered onto this board. So presumably here we're getting um, our sound out and uh, somewhere around here is the ground which I'm gonna have to isolate and then here is where um, the power is also coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that board out and see what we have to work with here. Okay, so uh, so here's what I'm seeing from off the board. Um, all the ground wiring is uh, on this side of the board here. So I can see that this, for example, this cable right here, that's clearly grounding the motor of the turntable is connected here. Right there. Uh, this ground, I guess, is for the uh, audio, presumably. And uh, and here's an extra ground. So the it appears that the uh, power cable that powers this thing is already isolated. Um, so there's no need actually to worry about any mixing mixing of the grounds for the power and the cartridge. So ideally, what we want to do is we want to remove this cable right here. See if I can get a closer look. And I'm going to try to plug in. Um, a power supply onto these circuits right here and hopefully we'll get power into this thing okay so uh, here's where we're at with this um, I was able to find a power supply a typical wall ward this is uh, 12 volts and 1.88 amps and it does have the correct polarity um, as shown by the turntable uh, we're gonna try this one first and see if that works. I mean, they should power up. It's powerful enough um, In case it doesn't respond well or it, you know won't work. I also got this other wall wards a little older um, and this one is uh, 12 and 500 milliamps, so uh, this is I guess less ampage. Uh, I didn't want to really use this because uh it's kind of one of those older wall warts that takes up a lot of space. I'm not sure if I want to make that permanent for this thing, but um, if I have to, I guess I'll reach out and, and, and do that. I mean, it does have the correct polarity. Good news. Uh, so I crudely, let's try to see if I can move this around. I crudely uh, mocked up the uh, power from the power supply, this power supply into the circuit board and uh, you know, Put the circuit in um hopefully it's working correctly um but i got uh, that going on and if you can see the motor right there see if i can get a closer look there okay so there's the motor right there and if you can see that once i plug it in we get movement okay and it shuts off as soon as i uh, put the arm back in the rest it stops and it starts running again. So that's uh, good news. So that's showing me that, that potentially he's gonna fix the problem of powering this thing. Now what we need to do is uh, solder these things on permanently and I'm gonna go back and uh, test this out and uh, see if I get any sound. Okay, so I have the turntable uh, completely assembled now. Uh, put in a, a new stylus uh, because uh, I didn't have a stylus before. Excuse me, my voice, but um, I've been kind of battling a sore throat, so my voice is a little bit off. But um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, I was able to troubleshoot uh, a couple of things. Um, so the first thing was that uh, when I was playing a record, I noticed that this uh, <clears throat> dust cover was uh, hitting the record player just a little bit uh, and it was making like a ticking noise uh, because the record was hitting it so I just put these extra little pads here and uh, that should do the trick uh, I didn't do it anymore once I started playing it again <clears throat> so that's a good thing um, another thing too that I ended up having to do is uh, <clears throat> I ended up adding a, a ground wire uh, into this uh, preamp 
for the turntable. And um, it was definitely needed because there was a lot of buzzing uh, going uh, coming out of the turntable when I was playing it out of this little uh, Capella uh, speaker. Uh, but once I put that uh, ground wire in, uh, buzzing was gone. So that was that was a pretty easy fix. Uh, the ground wire is basically uh, screwed on to the harness that's holding uh, the mechanism of the turntable. Okay, um, the one thing that I could not fix is the dampening of the turntable. So unfortunately, uh, when I'm cueing it, uh, the uh, cartridge just drops on there a little bit too hard. I tried adjusting it with, there was a screw right there, I guess to make the tracking a little lighter, but uh, it didn't help. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure if I want to spend any more time trying to fix that. I think my main purpose was trying to show you guys how to uh, wire a power supply onto this turntable, which I think I've managed to do successfully. So uh, instead of just uh, using the automatic feature, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, manually put it so that the needle doesn't drop too, too hard. So as you can see, the conversion uh, wasn't that difficult to do. Um, uh, I think an ideal uh, power supply for this would probably be a one amp, a 12 volt power supply with the same uh, polarity as a turntable. I mean, that, that would probably be the easiest fix. I'm so happy that the circuit that powers everything um, was kind of easy to kind of manipulate and get it to do what I wanted it to do uh, just by uh, soldering that, uh, that power supply. And as you can see now, let me see if I can turn the turntable off for a second. But as you can see right now, it almost kind of looks stock, which is kind of nice. You know, you, I got the uh, the plug for the uh, for the turntable audio and you know the grounding wire, and I got the power supply you know coming right out of the turntable. So that was a pretty nice fix, you know. And you got the uh, 12 volts and uh, 1.88 amps. Anyways, uh, if you come across a turntable like this, uh, I suppose it would not be that difficult to make the conversion. Uh, just as you you know, in case you don't have that amplifier that comes with it. Uh, nonetheless, uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope that this video was helpful, and uh, I'm excited to bring you a couple more videos uh, right before we hit the end of the year. Uh, thank you for your support, and uh, have a wonderful weekend. Take care.